Have you ever tried carrying a heavy object for some distance? You know, how after just a little while your arms start to ache and maybe your back hurts and at some point you just have to put it down or you drop it, right? A couple of months ago I decided to disassemble uh, my bed, you know, the queen size bed. And the frame was just too much, takes up the whole room, so I thought, no, I don't want that frame anymore. So I took the mattress and the box spring off. That was the easy part. And then I had to try to drag the frame out of the door because I wanted to put it in the garage. And it was very awkward. So I tried lifting it every which way. So finally, I had to turn it on its side and drag it out of the room, maneuver, you know, through the doorways the best I could, and then drag it into the garage. At the end of that process, I mean, I was like exhausted. I was sweating, my arms hurt, I had a hard time breathing. So I had to go to bed for about four, four hours. <laughs> I'm 60 years old after all, you know. There are times uh, when we carry heavy burdens, which after a while seem too hard to bear. There are physical burdens, of course, like illness and pain, but the heavy burdens seem to be those that are in our hearts and our minds and our souls. Maybe you carry the burden of grief over the death of a loved one. You may be burdened by an unhealthy relationship. Maybe you're burdened by financial worries. Maybe burdened with worry over your children or grandchildren. You can even be burdened by doubts about God's goodness and God's love. Whatever emotional or spiritual burdens you may be carrying, you know how heavy they can be and really can weigh us down in every way. At times, you may simply want to give up because of those burdens. Well, there's good news. Christ offers to help us carry those burdens. In the Gospel this morning, he says beautifully, Come to me, all you who are heavy burdened, those who are weary, and I will give you rest. You know, Jesus himself carried a heavy burden, the burden of sorrow over the reality of death, the burden of our sins, the burden of the cross. So Jesus is very familiar with the pain that is involved in carrying burdens. What is the remedy? He invites us to take his yoke upon our shoulders. You know, that may sound like he's giving us more burden to carry, actually. But consider what a yoke is. What does a yoke do? It ties work animals together so that each carries a portion of the load. When you divide the load between work animals, it becomes easier to move something or to pull something like a plow, let's say. And in the same way, Christ invites us to be yoked to Him. He will help us carry whatever burdens we might have. And He does this by encouraging us, blessing us, giving us the spiritual strength we need to manage the load. So whenever we grow weary of the burdens of life, we should immediately turn to the Lord and ask for Him. There's no room for pride or ego when it comes to saying, Lord, I need Your help. With an attitude of humility, we can turn to Christ for assistance. And Christ will respond generously, as he always did in the scriptures, to those who were sick, to those who were possessed, to those who were hungry, to those who were sorrowful. He may not remove burdens completely, but he will give us the assurance and the confidence to know that he is with us through it all, giving us the grace to really stay strong. So with faith in Christ, even the heaviest of burdens can seem light.